you wondering what the heck this new FSHA or first time homebuyer savings account is? And are you wondering if you can take advantage of it to save for your down payment? Well, good news, you've come to the right place. I'm Adam Walker, your friend in the mortgage business, and today we're gonna give you the highlights of what this FSHA really is. If you want more detail, I've included a link to a PDF that goes into a lot of really, really good detail, but today we're just gonna give you some of the highlights. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and like this video for the YouTube algorithm so more families just like yours can get great real estate hacks. So, what is an FSHA? Well, it's a new registered plan that's going to allow first-time home buyers to save up to $40,000 on a tax-free basis towards the purchase of a first home in Canada. Contributions to the FSHA will be tax-deductible, but the withdrawals to, to the purchase of a first home, including any investment income or growth earned in the account, will be non-taxable, as long as you followed all the rules that are outlined. To open the FSHA, you must be a resident of Canada and at least 18 years old and, have a, and be a first-time home buyer, not having owned a principal residence in the preceding four calendar years. The FSHA can remain open until the end of the year following um, if you make a qualifying withdrawal to to, to buy a home. Otherwise, it can remain open until for up to 15 years or until you turn 71 years old. Contributions these year, they're limited to $8,000 annually and a lifetime maximum of $40,000 um, would be reached in five years. The FSHA can hold qualified investments and can be transferred to an RRSP or a RIF on a tax-free basis if that's what you decide at the end. Now, withdrawals, like I said, can be made tax-free as long as you've met all the conditions and you must be used to buy a qualifying home. The home, buys, the home buyer's plan is still available through your RSPs, but you can't make both an FSHA withdrawal and a home buyer's plan withdrawal in the same home purchase. The FSHA holder um, is the only taxpayer permitted to claim the deductions on the contrib- or for contributions made to their first-time homebuyer savings account. If you want to learn more about how you can save for a down payment and get pre-approved for your next purchase, use the link below, go to adamwalkermortgages.com and book a strategy call. My team and my preferred partners will give you the local competitive advantage in today's real estate market.